Hi guys, this is James from Engadget and this is the Acer S500 Cloud Mobile. It's the, um, the very same Acer that we saw back in February at Mobile World Congress. It's an Android smartphone, 4.0.4 it comes with, and it's a 4.3 inch display, uh, 720 or 1280 by 720 resolution, that's 342 dpi. And it comes with 1 gigabyte of RAM and 8 gigabytes of internal storage. It's dual core 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon inside as well. So as you can see, first of all, let's talk about this screen because it's pretty nice. It's nice and bright, really good to look at. One of the sort of definitely one of the better screens that we've seen for a long time. Really pops out at you there, and uh, Acer claim that that's because they've designed it with less air between the sort of the display and and the sensor, the digitizer, which which helps uh, create that sort of really tight brightness. Um, we'll look at that more in the review. If you look back at the hardware, you can see this 4.3-inch uh, display is covered in a sort of a, a nice black, glossy look there with the the base of the, the unit. It has uh, this sort of metal accent here just below the logo, which is repeated up here over the earpiece. You can just about see the camera there, which is um, it's described as HD by Acer, but we've uh, taken a photo, checked it, it's 0.9 megapixels, again 1280 by 720p. This designer won, it's sort of famously won an award, whether um, you would agree with that or not, I don't know, it's not, it's not a bad looking phone, you've got these sort of pointy corners here, They're these little sort of slightly ridged sides, I don't know if you can sort of make that out, there. there's kind of like an, an angle there. But um, they sort of slightly flares out from the screen. But around the back here, you'll see it's rounded. It's dimpled. You've got the Acer logo here, but you can see these dimples, which are vaguely reminiscent of the Galaxy Nexus. If you've ever sort of held one, uh, one, held one of those, sorry. In fact, we had it in our pockets, and when you sort of reach in and you, you feel for it, it does feel very similar. This camera here, eight megapixels. Um, unlike the, the front shooter, it's just one, as we said, 0.9. Down here is um, a little logo for Dolby Audio. This has Do Dolby Mobile 3. Um, if we pop off the back cover, actually, so uh, it is always quite tight, but it does come off. You'll see that we've got the removable battery here, 1,460 milliamp hours, we believe. Um, micro SIM slot, micro SD, you can expand your memory, which is good because you are only getting eight gigabytes on the device. Um, it's got all the usual stuff, Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth 4, 4 uh, so that's a uh, worthy addition, but it also does have NFC, Android Beam, all the rest of it. So that is a very quick hardware tour. So if we have a look at some of the software editions, this is a pretty stock version of Android, which is really, really nice to see. And basically, if you go into it, it does kind of look very similar. Uh, you've got some sort of Widgets here that you can obviously get rid of those if you want. This one here comes as a standard, which looks vaguely similar to HTC Sense, uh, sort of trademark widget almost, if you, if you like. But a um, few sort of worthy uh, notable differences. Now they've got the notification tray here, which is different to stock Android, obviously. You can also go straight into settings, your alarm clock here. Here the settings are like airplane mode, uh, data access on and off, Wi-Fi hotspots, typical sort of stuff you might get under the power menu. Um, but your notifications here, they don't slide away because that will bring you into the other menu, but you can, you can dismiss them with the, uh, the X there. You've got the Acer Cloud um, app, which basically doesn't do a hell of a lot. It just sets you up to get an account, which lets you then sync all your media across any other device that has the Acer Cloud software, which currently is Android and Microsoft Windows only. Um, what else is software-wise? Camera. As you can see, uh, sort of looks very similar to the stock camera, but you've got a few more picture modes. Basically, you've got normal panorama, HDR, low light, and continuous shooting. So, continuous shooting mode is, uh, as you might expect, you kind of take a shot there, and you can see the number of the the photo count in the, in the top left corner sort of rises quite sharply, and then you should see in the gallery if you go through. There you go, you get a sort of a, a burst of all the photos that you've taken. So the only other uh, major software change which is worth mentioning is on the um, standby menu. So here we are, you've got standby, and as you can see you've got four icons down here. So you could just swipe and go straight into the phone. 
but perhaps you want to go straight to your camera you can press the camera swipe and there you go those are configurable so if you don't want to have the four that it lets it kind of gives you by default you can do that from um, I think yes, you go into the home screen press and hold and it gives you an option here where you can choose which icons uh, which apps you want to have launched from the from the home screen so that's a little bit, bit of a look at the software. This is the Acer Cloud Mobile and I'm James from Engadget.